So as your role as a pastor, how do you teach in your church about giving, both the how much and answering questions about the use of the word tithe or mm-hmm. other rules maybe that would come up? Yeah, one of the things that we've done is I, I spent some time walking through a, kind of a whole a biblical theology of giving uh, from Old Testament to New Testament, understanding how this all works together and came to 10 conclusions. I wish I could remember off the top of my head. That'd be really helpful. But uh, practical encouragements uh, to, that are takeaways, they're uh, online at radical.net. If, if you, <laughs> anyway, I, I don't recommend my own preaching. I think it's good sleeping material. But the whole point in, in, in walking through that, and the way I would even address tithe, the way I address tithe in that picture, is obviously we see an Old Testament principle of a tithe that, uh, that was important among God's people. And how, even how we understand that was really, it was, well, there was so much involved with how this was set up with the people of Israel. And it was actually more than 10% when you put it all together. Uh, but but there is an Old Testament principle that I think, though we don't see a specific command in the New Testament to tithe, give, give a tenth off the top, it seems to me, and this is what we have taught in our church, that if there was an, a, a, a principle in the Old Covenant that we hear under the New Covenant, we would, we would at least start there. So that the tithe would not be the ceiling in our giving, but the tithe would be the, the floor in our giving. That'd be where we start. And so as, as new covenant people in Christ, that certainly we wouldn't give less than this principle we see in the Old Testament. Certainly that would be a starting point for then giving more. And so then we challenge, we challenge folks, okay, with that as a, as a starting point, and by no means am I saying everybody does this. I, I know for a fact everybody doesn't do this in the church. But, but we encourage them, use the tithe as a starting point and then grow as you're able to give beyond that. And that's where we, we really encourage people to set a cap on their lifestyle, to set a cap on their living, and to say, okay, and, and this is based on 1 Timothy chapter 6, godliness with contentment is great gain. So, uh, and, and that whole passage there then, then warns us about the dangers of money. Um, and, and not that money in itself is bad, but money in the hands of sinful men and women with sinful hearts can be a very dangerous thing. Um, and so, so let's, let's, godliness with contentment is great gain. Paul says, if we have food and covering, that is enough for us. So, okay, what is our enough level going to be for living in this culture? And we just try to encourage people to say, what's the, what's the cap? And this is what my wife and I have done. And, and I'm not saying that there's a legalistic standard by which this is the same for everybody. But to say, okay, I'm not going to give in to this this temptation all around me to get more and more indulged and more and more and more. I'm going to be content. I'm going to live with contentment at this level, knowing that. And I want to, uh, we all know this, but as long as we're living in this culture, we're going to have so many luxuries that many people in the world don't have. I mean, I look at my own life. I have, I have, I have a bed that I slept on last night. I mean, many people in the world don't have a bed. It's a luxury in a sense, but we still got a bed. So there's, there's things we're going to have that, that will, will be luxuries compared to the rest of the world. But I do think it's healthy to set, that's what we encourage our folks to do, set a cap. Where are you going to, where's, where's going to be your lifestyle is going to stay under it. So then anything the Lord gives above that, you're free to give away. And so that way, if you're making uh, whatever amount it is, up to millions of dollars during the year, then you've got a cap here and you're living just the same as you would if you were making that much. And the more that you receive then, the more you're able to give away. So that's what we encourage kind of people generally to do. Start with the tithe as a, as a floor in your giving and then give as much as you can uh, with what God entrusts to you by setting a cap on your lifestyle.